the sing on bit. Well, it must have gone out because Pauline wouldn't have got in. No. Or Gordon. No. Oh, well. Maybe yeah, I didn't then. like you and didn't put you on the email. I think that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless it went yeah. unless, Black mark. <laughs> unless you spammed me. Well, I'm just looking. I'm on, I'm on my um, tablet now watching this, but I'm just looking at my phone, but. Just have a look, okay. see who yeah. I sent it out to. I might have missed you. Yeah, I think you did. Hello, I think you everybody. did. Uh, hi, Anne. <laughs> Gordon, hi. <laughs> no, it's got, it went to Gordon, Anne, Carol, Pauline, Christine Besson, and Corianne. Corinne. And that was an email? Yeah. Went out yesterday at 10.47 a.m. B.J. Okay. Besson. Yeah, went to... That's me. Yeah, I'm just... It's all right. I just, yeah. just wanted to check in case I was going... Yeah, it's no damage anyway. No, as, long as, no. as long as everyone's got my Facebook thing, it's fine, isn't it? Because it... Yeah. It's a really yeah. good backup, that. Yeah. No, I've got I appeal to have it anywhere. No, I'm just looking through my phone. Maybe I maybe you've put me into spam. Oh, no, I've checked that. Anyway, don't worry about that. How is everybody? Yeah, we're well, fine. Well, Morning, I am. It's <laughs> all good. Morning, Gordon. You all right? Yeah, Christine. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How's that? She's there. I think I'm Looks like he's got a bit more colour in his cheek today, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pink life for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, he looked a bit bit ghosty last week. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Getting ready for Halloween. Ah. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you look like you were the ringleader. Huh. <laughs> oh, so... How did everybody enjoy doing Peter O'Toole? Yeah, no, I, I quite enjoyed that. I quite like doing portraits, but yeah. I feel I'm better than, than landscapes. I don't like landscapes. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I like this this um, Zoom meeting way of doing it. It really focuses you more, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. I think it does, because yeah. you've got a deadline. That's right, makes you do it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. It was right on yeah. trend, wasn't Same it? Same for me. Yeah. Yeah. Even more so. Yeah. Sorry, Anne, I didn't hear what I you said. Gonna, I was just going to say it was right on trend with the world premiere of the O'Toole um, film this week. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That was at the, yeah. at the lighthouse, wasn't it? That's right. So we're bang on trend. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Yeah, going to sell your pictures now. <laughs> oh, I, don't know about that. <laughs> I haven't I haven't done one, I haven't been well enough, so I'm lagging again. No. Oh. How are you feeling now? Um I don't know yet, Chris. I've got to have a B12 tomorrow, so I'm hoping that'll help. Yeah. But still not breathing properly. Oh dear. We'll give it a go. We'll be all right. Yeah. And we're in on the Jubilee, that's the main thing. Yes, yeah. yes, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. yeah. And I've had my confirmation for Ellingham and yeah, yeah, the others. Yeah, they're very efficient, aren't they? They are very good. Yeah. Sorry, indeed. everybody. We're just talking caravanning. Yeah. Caravan. Hi, Sunny Watford. Sunny. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> morning. Morning. Morning, Corinne. Morning, morning. Sorry, I um. I'm not very good at uh, portrait drawing, so whenever there's a portrait, I just miss it out, if you like. Um, so, <laughs> I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to try, and I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> there go. Well, I've, I've probably spent 20 years thinking that. It's funny, isn't it? How these things, how, how things change, and now I'm, I quite enjoy them. Well, yeah. I, I look I forward the to them. You, the more you do, the better you get. I think, yeah. Uh, I, I, wish I, knew, I wish I knew how to do it. 
The only thing <laughs> I, I liked was that um, uh, my sister, my sister um, sent me a photograph of my brother-in-law. Uh, so I, um, I'm afraid I copied it, um, I traced it, and then I did it like a pop art thing that is lots of different colors and that and that that is okay because you know it's a bit <laughs> abstract so that, that's okay you know skin tone doesn't doesn't matter yeah. at all. Uh, and things like that so yeah there was no, the colors were good so I thought yeah okay that will do <laughs> well there's no reason no reason why you can't do our portraits in the same way just your own interest yeah that's right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you know, like a science fiction movie, you know, green, green skin, and all that. But okay, <laughs> there are oh, no sorry. Rules. I That's should mention the color kind of green, should I, Dave? There are no, no, no rules. Sorry, forget, 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 I said the word green, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we got so next. Um, the next one is next week is um, the Christmas one, it's um. Oh, Alistair Sims playing Scrooge with the um, candle in his hand. Oh, that'd be all, like, scared, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joyce. I'm going to do that. Hi, Joyce. Good morning. So, Why has it got Mary? Hi, Joyce. Come it's got Mary come up on your. On yeah, your because Joyce. because the machine that I'm using has got my alter ego on it. Oh, I see. Okay then. <laughs> I thought our uh, Mary. Art Mary, unfortunately not. <laughs> no, I I tried this morning to um, set up a new um, account, and unfortunately it wouldn't launch. So I'm back to Mary oh. B. So, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so hi everyone. <laughs> hi. Hi Mary. <laughs> be you. I'd be fine. I'd be you. Um, <laughs> I tell you a trick. Uh, my. Uh, son-in-law who's into computing uh told me is that you can create your, your account just omitting the dot if Ooh. you have any dot any works all right so That's try good. that because it's the same thing except that you don't have the dot mm -hmm. but it, it will be seen as a different account that sounds good so yeah. try it yeah. and if it yeah. works next time i log in tell me whether it works Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've also um, I've also got my earphones in, and what I want to know is, can you still hear background noise? Because there's a wet room being put in downstairs, and the noise is horrendous. No, can't no, hear anything. Can't hear anything. There's, there's nothing going on at this precise no. moment. No. no. <laughs> <But> if, <laughs> well, if, um, if it starts, we'll let you know. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you could probably hear it in the uh, can for teeth or somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's quite far away from me. At least using, the, least using oh, your he earphones, you won't get any feedback through the speak through the microphone from speakers, mm -hmm. which then you get whistling, don't you, and all that. Yeah. So any noise that does come through will be direct noise, which you can just mute anyway. So mm. yeah, and then, then you can use your sign. <laughs> Start sign. Got, got to put your hand up, Gordon, if you want to speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. Me, me. I've got rid of, I've got rid of the parrot at last. Well right done. <laughs> I, took seat, I took the seat hinge back off and put some blue tack in it and screwed it all back together again. Uh, uh, that works wonderful on hinges, apparently. So you right. now got a dead parrot. <laughs> I, wait, two, I, I wasted parrot. two days, Saturday and Sunday, trying to fix computers. So, and I'm supposed to be a bloody computer expert. <laughs> the, the uh, problem is there's a myriad of possibilities that go wrong you know no, you take this no, out you've got to start it all back up see if that changes anything no oh cool and then the next my mobile, thing and then my the, mobile phone suddenly started playing up it's gone uh, slow and it won't i can't send pictures on text messages and have you no, tried I, switching it off and then switching it back on again yeah sometimes that yeah, yeah. 
I, I, do, I do that often. Mm. Especially on anyway. the iPad, believe it or not. The iPad's fussier than the um yeah. than the Android. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, somebody's that's good at that's uh, drawing. That's yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's lovely. Really nice. Yeah. It was hard to get the skin colour, wasn't it? it Carol, was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I've lost your link somehow. I've been doing a lot of deleting this morning. I had so much. Can you send it to me again? Yeah, it'll be there in two secs. Okay, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering where our Carol was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've just got to invite her. Hang on. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, because I didn't, I, I didn't seem to get it. Carol Wellman. Trouble is, she's got two, two, um, <laughs> two email addresses. One's an iCloud one that I'm pretty sure that's the one that works. I know one works, and one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she should come in in a minute. Yeah, I've got that. Um, that was Pauline's. Really chuffed for that. Oh, and yeah, and our Chrissy nice. did one as well. Hang on. The eyes are very expressive. Mm. That's what I thought. Yeah, he's got a word. He's got a a thoughtful, passive type. Look. Yeah. That's what that's what portraits are about. Really, it's not about emulating or copying per se, the person. It's about trying to get, it's a good opportunity to get your emotions into the motion of the subject, into the view of the subject. It's, it's very, I don't know, if they're all up in the air, arty farty, all those things. <laughs> you know, that I don't really take any notice of, or I think you you think you don't, but you do. Mm, very nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do. I, I, and Chrissy did one, up there as well that was that's, that's mine <laughs> i saw right. i got some new images last night i was on a on a a webinar about um oh wow what was all beyond behind it all oh that's kind of cool. where's yours gone oh hang on Right. A video of it. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yes. I framed that yeah. one up as well. Yeah. Very striking. <laughs> one thing I, I didn't, um, I meant to do or say and do myself was um, use some gold paint, especially, mm. you know, just little hints of gold in the headdress bit. Ah, yeah. What do they call it? A moon, a moon in it or something? I don't know, a moon mm -hmm. something. The mm -hmm. thing that goes around. I, I tell you what, about this painting, I love the shading. Very um, yeah. effective around the, the, you know, the face and that. Yeah. Very good. Shading's very good. Yeah. I think if I, I think um, T. E. Lawrence saw it, he'd probably say, I'm not that much, I'm not that dark skinned. <laughs> and if you look at the mind, he looks like a red Indian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's why he was uh, wearing the headdress because well, you know he was red, dark skinned. He's quite um <laughs> red this one, he? and then when I printed it out, <laughs> it was really red. <laughs> so that's where mine came from. Yeah. Yeah, sunburn, you know. Yeah, yeah, out there in the, out there in the tune of, well, it's Turkey, wouldn't it, most of it? I expect he had to have spray tan <laughs> to get his colour right for the part. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> well, I'm in good spirits. The last two nights have been clear oh, Carol, is Carol there? Yeah. I'm here, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> you all right, Carol? No, I'm still not well. I haven't been well yeah. at all this week. Oh, oh, wow. I've had it for 14 days now. <clears throat> In the club, girl. This is yeah. going wow, back. I love this is that. Going backwards to That's nice. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. Very Lord nice. Doom thing. And uh, they were all top dollar, especially. I mean, this is that one. That's Anne's. That's lovely. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. 
very really illustrative, delicate. isn't it? Yeah, yeah very and nice, really. It's a bit... Um, a lot of them. A bit visitorish. A bit, yeah, well, Chrissy, the, the, the nail on the head, well, when we when we were doing it, it's it's a, a jigsaw puzzle um, picture. That's a good oh, one. I love that. that. That's Carol's. Wow, very <laughs> nice. Did you use some pencils on that, Carol? No, just paint. Brilliant. Oh, oh. Yeah, very nice. Almost, almost feels like there are some... Um, yeah, watercolour pencil. pencil. Yeah. yeah, I thought I'd yeah. just do it really delicate because I usually go in too heavy, really, and they look awful. So, yeah. Oh, very nice. I think the dog's bit me nose. I've got a little... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do, they, sometimes they play and then they jump mm -hmm. up. Yeah. yeah. Just give you a little nip. <laughs> that was Chrissy's, wasn't it? That's lovely. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really good. Amazing. Amazing. Catching, oh. like, well, there are that looks like a, a, a proper photograph, doesn't it? Mm. Really? It's because it's acrylic, it's so it's gonna yeah, it's give different. it more opacity. But she hates doing landscapes. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just dragging her out. You are, you really are pushing me out of my comfort zone, but um, yeah, it's good to do that. I love yeah. that. I used to hate green. I used to hate all the green in a landscape. I think it's because yeah. of all the years of working, you know, as a job, as a gardener, you you can never really replicate the colour of the greenery in yeah. my life. So I always sort of struggled with it, but um, I was quite pleased with that one. I must have Yeah, been. absolutely. That's no, think, really pretty. Everybody did. Um, Very pretty. Something special. This was the woman that has only ever painted two watercolors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was good. <laughs> uh, no, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> Great. Well done. It's got um, a combination in there. There's um, mm. the um, sort of tiny little bit of abstraction about you know the thing about it. I remember sending. Um, it's a bit juicy. Waffling on about um, <laughs> cat, you spend the rest of your artistic life in twenty years or ten years time thinking, what happened to my naivety? Which yeah, is, well, yeah, that, my... that one is well out of. Uh, it's not in the bin, but <laughs> it didn't. Yeah, I no, just think it's amazing everything. what, what you, you can. You must keep everything, Corinne, and then you can look back and see how you've improved. Well, the things that was, I, I'm very heavy-handed, as you could see with the trees there, and. Um, I think my, my medium is more acrylic than than watercolor, and I thought, come on, I, I can, I can, I can, I can do something maybe with it. So um, yeah, I'm trying. As you can see, I'm very they're trying. Both, yeah, there you go. They're, e they're equally, they're both water media at the end of the day, and there's yeah. no re there's no reason why you can't touch one up with the other anyway. You could they're mixable. So if you feel that there's a, a yeah. part. Of, you know, an, air, an area of the picture that could do with some extra contrast or extra depth. Just use diluted acrylic in there anyway. That's a good idea. I tell you what, today um, I'm using A4 and I'm going to try and do it the same time as you do to see. Ooh, good on you. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> see, well, well, you know. Out, out of the frame, it looks just like that. It looks really good, that. So you can no. see the, what's, no. where, where you were going. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I was going not green, but then I ended up very green. So mm. there you go. Well, I think it, um, I keep going on about the um, value um, thing. I've, I haven't composed the image yet, but I will do it. We'll leg, we'll leg each other on with that one. Oh, I love this. That's our Gordon. Gordon. Oh, yeah. that's, that's nice. That's, yeah. yeah. Got some good good depth, and Gord usually adds a little extra perspective to it or yes. a view, which is really good. Mm. I'm not sure about the two red doors. One would have been enough. 
<laughs> Only colour they got. Sorry. <laughs> no, because it's what I always say is a is a good lesson though that if you if you picture us static, cold, um, and you want to lead attention to to the you know warm it up, then what you do put put something red in, but mm. only one, not two. So I've been inclined to lift off one of the doors, probably the um, lift off one, right, you know, make it really faint and slightly tone the other one down. And, but other than that, it's- It would be signature, you know, signature sort of um, thing, you know, having two, two red, you know, painting. Yeah, we could have, yeah, I, why not? One you could always turn one into a letterbox. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. That's a bit mean. We don't. We don't take yeah. prisoners. Yeah. Uh, if you turn it into a letterbox, you've got to do a crocheted lid for it. With a carrot on top. <laughs> Uh, one, I think there's one more. Uh, We're going for oh yeah. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. I love the water. Interesting, isn't it? Oh. It's uh, flooded. Look, he goes up to the the house. It's nearly flooded there. Oh, yeah. yeah that, well, I I did a different um, printed out a different picture to could you got like yeah. two cottages? Might be I, worth editing mm -hmm. that, lifting that yeah. out. But... Yeah, yeah. But that's what it was. That's what it was in the picture. But I can yeah. figure out oh. what it yeah. was. But might be worth just lifting that out a bit. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it looks just... like it looks like the village is about to flood. It does, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? That's what I like about it. The, just, the you know, it's is... a jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. Well it's done. great though how how every interpretation is a little bit different. Different, yeah. yeah. And you and you begin to recognise each other's work. Yeah. I know because mine's an acrylic, it's always a bit of a sore thumb sticking out, but that's <laughs> tough. <laughs> that's what I do. I think, I think it's, um, <laughs> hmm. it's a good is a good um good thing to do. Yeah. No, it's great. Very good. Today's shenanigans. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I am always, as soon as I say, oh, this would be yeah. easy, or oh, yeah. this has got to be straightforward. Early now young. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, <laughs> oh my giddy aunt, what have I done here? <laughs> um, where is it? That. It's. Um, awful <laughs> every time i change the pit on, every time i change the picture um look at it i print it out it looks totally different to the way it does on screen yeah I'm mine's come out it. a lot darker than that yeah that's right I'll, I'll um i don't know what to say really <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> there's i think <clears throat> I'm going to go through the process, but everyone's, this is going to be one of those, isn't it? Where everyone's interpretation is going to be, sl whoa, slightly way off. That's put me off in a way even more. I wish I hadn't shown that, man. Oh, no. <laughs> the ascendancy nah. makes you dream, doesn't it? You know? mm. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a live view because um, it Got comes from... A mate of mine who took some photos of sandbanks and well he go he's going out for a walk and took the picture. Let me um if anyone speaks it doesn't change the picture now, does it? It's spotlights for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to change my microphone. So look out. I'll go quiet for five minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds. If I can find it. Oh, select a microphone. Which one? What I could do. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah. Yeah. 
now I'm looking at not you lot. <laughs> I'm looking at the posh picture that I just found. I lost Joyce again. I'm still here. I've just turned off the video. Oh, because I don't like sitting, having myself sitting up in the corner looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not right. a voodoo, voodoo thing, is it? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I've captured your soul now. Can, can, you, can, has, you hear any, me. can you hear any drilling at the moment? No. Oh, that's no. good. That's I haven't good. even okay. sketched this yet. Didn't see much point, really. <laughs> so, thinking about it, we're going to have an, uh, an horizon line two-thirds up. Somewhere along there, isn't it? Hey, how posh is this? Have I got one? Yeah, I have. Da, da, da. Got a ruler. Straight edge. Can you view this? Can you view the whole picture? Or? It, it's been no. with the right hand needs to come off of it. The right. That way? That's no. That way. That's, that's it, yeah. That's that better. good? Yeah. That's fine. Because I'm not looking at, hang on, I'll just stick a little horizon line on for a minute. And oh, there's not a lot of water, is there? I suppose you ought to put some in. Guess it. And there's a, an angle. Ooh, it's quite low down, isn't it? Um, thinking about it. Or not. Well, Maybe we can utilize the space. Just go there. Maybe come up a bit there. And then it just blocks out the sea, doesn't it? As long as we go over that, we're okay. Hmm. We need something red in this corner. <laughs> I've got a spare red door if you want it, Dave. <laughs> I think I'll put uh, it's one of those isn't it you can just put a line where I think I'm going to need some grassy stuff just to remind me and there's a bit up there as well whether to put the boat in or not goodness knows Sorry, it's a, probably the, the liner, isn't it? It's, it's a ocean doodle. They were all parked out in the bay, weren't they? Yeah. I don't know if they still are. Yeah, yeah my they're picture's they're gone now. No, my picture's no. really dark as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that was printed on really posh photographic paper. Hmm. I think I'm, I'm going to switch the screen off to the other way and I'm just going to stick with my photos. Two secs. I'm still not able to print anything. Are you, Carol? Are you still? No, I can't. Um, well, I've got Rachel's, but she, can, she can't fathom how to do it A4, so I get a little square bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nuisance, isn't it? I now know. I can, I can see the screen now, so I think I might zoom out a little bit. Any good? A little bit, little bit nearer. Just one. There you go. Yeah, that's better. I might put it. It's not. I'll have to look at the screen when I'm doing it. Otherwise, I. If something goes wonky, I won't. I won't know. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I did spend a bit of. Bit of time thinking, how do you paint sand? Like <laughs> hundreds of sheets. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Thinking, you know, like this, uh, these are some old ones as well, but. And then it was rubbish paper. Um, sort of got there in the end. Um, no, I. Well, I'd, I don't think this is going to be worse than a portrait. <laughs> In other words, don't follow it, don't copy it. 
<laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. What I've decided I'm going to do is I've got my mop and I'm going to, where I've just outlined the lump of sand, I'm just going to make that wet. And you can mix up a bit of flesh, but for time, which is just a bit of raw sienna. And a little bit of light red. But I've got flesh here. This is, which will give you a light fleshy color anyway. So I'm just gonna paint it. We'll give it a coat of flesh. The other alternative is um, burnt sienna. This is always, which is always traditionally was my, um, I'll just decided to put a little, I'm just thinking sand. At the end of the day, you could leave it white and then just put a, the shadow, just paint the shadow, but it, it's, to me, it's too reminiscent of a snow scene. <laughs> and also for the, um, the viewer need to put some color on that beach as well for the viewer that you, you kind of need to give it some sort of color so that anyone looking at it would be able to identify it as sand but what i found sometimes by not doing that if you leave it plain later on it's not easy to distinguish it. And like I say, it could be a snow scene <laughs> on the marsh, you know, like we've done in the past winter scenes. So um, I've painted this first because I wanted it to um, hopefully dry off a bit. But for reference, find a little bit of white space on the bit of paper. This will do for the um, for the sand. Like I said, you can use if you get burnt sienna, just a little, and just use almost as much. Use a very dilute wash of burnt sienna. It will also give you a nice milky sandy colour. Mm. And you can add more to make it stronger. I've done thousands of, well, about that, dozens and hundreds of beaches using burnt sienna, which is really, when it's diluted like that, it's almost like the same colour as the flesh anyway that fades back. Not much. So it's always a good standby. I've got some um, burnt, some cerulean blue in the the blue pot here. So trying to make it nice and clean. I'm not worried about that side because that's the other side of me palette is just darks. Let's mark that up there. My reference photo that I probably won't take any notice of. I'm at a little bit of an angle now. Cerulean blue is good blue for the um, for those really summery, light, fluffy skies. I'm not going to use the horizon blue today, even though I've got it. Because I'm figuring <laughs> no one else will have it. So it's sort of cheating in a way. It's giving me a better picture than perhaps a better blue. It is a nice blue. So if you ever see Horizon Blue come up on Google, buy it. Don't need a lot. It then comes in tiny tubes, but it's... um. 
a whole bean paint, which I think is Japanese. So I always figured it was German, but it, it's not. It comes from Japan. The trouble is with the COVID sort of delivery things, it's like Christmas turkeys. They're going to be, <laughs> it's not easy to get. Well, maybe I'm preempting it there. Not that I eat them anyway, but being a veggie burg, yes. just doing my normal. I've made the, the paper nice and wet. I just don't want to, we don't want to complicate the sky, do we? I'm just going to put the cerulean blue. It's my favourite. You could, if you want, just cover the whole thing with with blue paint. Don't bother, don't bother with leaving, leaving um, any cloudy areas. And then use the tissue to, to to fizzle it off, you know, just to lift out some clouds. Need a bit of um, cloud shadowy colour. So I've got this sort of purpley colour in here. Perhaps add a little bit of blue to it. Give it a sort of an off grey. It's only the light red, crimson, rose that I use with the blue, with some of the blue in it. And it'll give us that nice off cloudy colour, I hope. But I'm not going to use a big brush, I only want to... Uh, one that's just rolled underneath, perhaps. Could use a rigger. Go on, use a rigger. And just... Maybe it could be a bit... A bit... Um, grayer than that. Add a little bit of um, burnt sienna, a turn it grey. Burnt sienna and blue gives us grey. So maybe that's a shortcut. Just add a bit of burnt sienna to the cerulean blue and drop a few in if you want while it's damp. A bit too damp really, but Try and balance them. Problem is on the computer screen, there's, there's a distinct pattern in the sky, which um, in order to achieve that, I think I'd have to sit down for days and just sort of tease in. But all I'm trying to do is I've come in from the diagonals like I like I normally do with the sky. So that it focuses, because it's it will give it that sort of receding away from you feel. And where the white bits are, I try and coax in some fluffy grey clayy bits. Try this watercolour, it fade, it dries back so so strong, so so faint. It's it's always a sort of an ongoing decision as you're painting how dark to, um, to drop the cloud bits in because it's going to fade back quite a lot, quite considerably. I think the I'm also going to drop in some extra shadow on the back here. Needs to go up a bit, doesn't it? I think the key is to make your paper nice and wet, and it'll keep going for quite some time. Mm, this is a bit too dark over this side. the um, blue. All I'm doing is just teasing the my sort of grey colours in. If your paper goes too dry, then just spray it. 
you know if you run out you kind of you it's a finite amount of time you've got to fiddle around but you want it nice and wet because you want the water to do the you know to give you those nice subtle soft cloud effect One thing you can do, which I didn't do, is um, a little bit, a hint of raw sienna. If you think it's a bit, um, if you're feeling it's a bit clo cold, just add a little teeny weeny bit of raw sienna into your workings, and that'll warm warm things up. I think I might add a little bit more blue to this background area. So we're only using two, two colours at the moment. A bit of raw sienna, uh, cerulean blue, and uh, the other colour that I'm using. Burnt sienna. I was just testing myself then to see if I had a good memory or not. Still nice and wet there. You can see just by adding a little bit on there. Water's still running down. Reminds me of the Isle of Wight. Well, it's our area, isn't it? I'm always saying that. As you if you look out across there, you can see the, the weather front moving across the, to the ocean. Add a little bit more burnt sienna to that. It was just a blue. Wanted it to go a bit grey, I don't know. I'm being a bit... Again, brush down and the pen, and it goes underneath the table. Nightmare. If you're not happy, just lift a bit off. Lift it off. Dab it on a bit of tissue. Need a bit more blue, I think, to define it. As Carol says, what colour is turquoise? <laughs> is that tor turquoise and blue? Got a little bit of green here in, the, in my palette. Quite easily. Tinge it. A little bit of green. Almost day. A bit more. A little bit. For the life of me, I don't know what green that is. It's a cheap one. Straight out of a tin. Mm -hmm. I've got a nice blob of colour on my sand castle. What I might do is just lift a bit of this out. Just using a brush. There's a distinct line, isn't there? But I don't want it too dark. Mm. And that's going to fade back the water. Maybe where it's hitting the shore, we ought to lift it off a bit. That's it, man. We're almost finished. No time to go, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, look. Big blob turned up over there. We need some more blue there. Now, just a hint of it. As I say, it's, it's almost 
I'm going for subtle today. Really soft. It's a watercolour, so I'm just using water and soft. The, the, the only stain or blot on my horizon is this bit over here, which is, to me, is too blue, but it's at that stage where it's dried and I don't want to muck about with it. I'm just going to wait till it goes bone dry and then I can lift it out if I decide to. I might even add a little bit of extra colour on it. But these decisions that you make later on dab some blue on there. I want to put some sort of detail in because it's lacking it. A bit dark there. Tissue off a few elements. Got a bit of drama. Mm -hmm. I put that thing up there. This dry? No. So I'm going to put a little, little bit more paint on there. Want it to be and hair dryer. Are you getting on, Corinne? Corinne, your, your sound is off. Yeah, I realise that. So, oh. yeah, you can do it at the same time, but uh, I'm not sure you get the exact same colour in terms of, um, yeah. You mixing. won't. No, that's why I said use raw sienna. Um, Very light raw sienna. But, uh, burnt sienna, sorry for the sound. I think we all discovered yeah. today that it's definitely less is more, isn't it? It really, <laughs> you really can do them so well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put it all right. All right, let's get a bit of space. Okay. Chill out. It's not as blue as it as it is on that picture, or it doesn't look to, as blue to me. Um, sticking with the theme today, which is. Cerulean blue. <laughs> and burnt sienna. Gives us this a nice <coughs> shadowy grey. One thing we can do, I can find it. <coughs> or reach it even without falling off the end of the microphone. Don't get this on breakfast TV. <laughs> you have a little man comes along and clips your microphone on, doesn't it? 
Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> believe it. <laughs> oh, gosh. It flicked off and wedged itself between two bits of metal on the desk. Now, oh, crikey. I'm a maniac. Yeah, um, what I was going to say, Compl the complementaries are the shadow. So for sandy colours, we're looking for blue violet. Somewhere along this, this sort of range here. So to, hence the reason I'm mixing up a little bit of grey really. But as a backup, I have got some violet. I've made it dry. I think ordinarily I'd leave this for quite a while to dry off. But I only would dry it because I didn't want the wash to dissipate too quickly. And then just drop in some some of our, our nice cerulean blue and burnt sienna mix, try and get some shadows. The image, the reference image I'm looking at is much lighter than the, than the, um, the one I sent you. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll resend a brightened up version because it was too, it's too dark. It's, well, they're just photos, but you see what I'm trying to achieve here is to keep some sort of background lightness of the sand, especially at the top there, which is, you have to have in your mind's, in your mind's eye the fact that you're going to put all the grasses on in a minute. So that's going to make it high, make it stand out a bit more. So try and keep some of them. And all I'm doing is just using, as it dries, just dotting bits in. Nice bit of areas. That's probably as good as I've done it actually, looking at it. It's the right color. Well, if there is such a thing as the right color at the top, Drop in a few bits, just using the end of the, the mop brush. It's almost like a dagger. Very good. And it is darker over this side as well, because I'm going to put foliage. But I think it's a good idea to um, you util utilize just a couple of colors that you can mix up readily, because in a minute, when we put the grasses in, we'll probably have to add some more, uh, some darker tones of this shadowy colour on top of it. Tell you the truth, I'm quite pleased with that. Not often I say that. No, it's very good. No, I'm, I'm with the colour, Chrissy, because I spent since part of last night, you know, in the evening thinking, what? I was talking to um, one of the one of the artists whose websites I um, I design and do, Andrea DeFell, last yesterday afternoon, and um, she said, "You're out of breath." I said, "No, I was downstairs. I'll just run up the stairs because I was um." Then I was painting some painting sand, and she and the phone went upstairs, so I had to dash up. And the um, she said, "Cool, good luck with that." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she spends her career painting Bournemouth Beach and the pier. The number it isn't an easy thing to paint as you will discover. Hence the reason I've tried, that's what I'm trying to do, is to make it, is to work out a way of 
doing it sort of da 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 da, -da. just a bit of a couple of colours and away you go. I've got a stain on the on my on my beach. So I'm just using a bit of um flesh colour to lift it off, just to blend it in. But the um just lift it in a bit. Ah, there's a big sigh. I think I'll just dry that off for a sec. Just take the edge off it before we attack the um, grass. See it's starting to that's highlighted there now. I can feel a, a bit of a glow there, which is really important. Water, water. Nice clump of sand. The um, next, oh, the next one, the next issue part of this picture is the grass in this stuff. I would recommend if you've got one, you either use the rigger or even better if you've got one of these things. It's a sword brush. Yeah. This one's a uh, Rosemary and Co. Evergreen Sword. It's an oil painting brush, effectively, but it works really well. I have got, I think, the, the set of paints that I had stolen or lost. I maintain they were nicked. Um, I had some sword brushes in them or a sword brush and I never ever used it. And I thought it's one of those brushes that you have in the thing. And by the time you realize, oh, I should have used that, you finished the painting and moved on to something else. Um, but yesterday I was doing this and I thought, oh, that's a nice pointy brush. <laughs> that would be raw sienna. Is a nice color. We've got our blue, which is our cerulean blue. Let me push that over a bit. See it? Raw sienna. I've got a mix here of raw sienna, fleshy colours, or it's just muck from the previous paintings. I've got this awful, awful green. I have no, I don't, it might be hooker's green. It probably is actually, but if you look at it, it's look at it. It's like something you paint your bike with, you know. <laughs> and then <laughs> when you're a kid, you just get a pot of paint, paint your bike, and think, oh, no, that's not quite what we had in mind. Why doesn't it look like professionals? But on its own, it's it's absolutely yuck. But mix it in with some blue and yellow. And you get loads of variations of grass. It just so happens that there's a bit of ultramarine in the other side. I've split my blue um, pocket hole container, whatever you call it, into half of its one side, half of its cerulean, and the other ones. 
ultramarine but i i think over the years i think that's a what i've learned is is a good way of doing it because i i'm always going on don't just use ultramarine because a lot of the books do it use ultramarine in the sky and it it doesn't look right it feels wrong but if you do if you start off in your palette with a mix of two blues you're going to get a compromise which is what i'm trying to achieve i think so i'm just um practicing just playing with my brush trying to to get the right um, feel. There we go. Now, decide where you're going to put some grasses and grass away. Let's <laughs> say so I've got a little bit of raw sienna. A lot of um, Fun techniques can be employed here when you come to do it. By that, I mean you can use different uh, tools, different brushes, different. I'll show you in a sec. There is no hard and fast definitive solution to painting them. That was a little bit of the dark blue I put on there then. Let's try and put this so you can see it. With that, oh, I'll tell you what would be a good oh, idea. Well. I've done it already. Yeah. I was just gonna say without marking my picture. Mm. And what I do, mark my picture. <laughs> And, then, and it's always the colour and that colour is um, <laughs> the red must be all the, that's <laughs> really high it. staining colour don't worry I'll get that out in a minute um, just as I said I've had an, a eureka moment <laughs> <laughs> just the words hardly escape my mouth <laughs> when it all went oh. the idea was quite simply <laughs> to stick a bit of dry card over the top and then pop that there <laughs> that's all I wanted to do well what's <laughs> hard about that <laughs> well, never mind anyway yeah but of course it's on the back of the thing. So getting back to business, a little bit of raw sienna, and just tease them in. But if you've got a rigger, you can do it just as well. Bear in mind, it's gonna fade back. But I thought this brush I was using it last night, and it, if you just flick it, you get some quite, Lovely, just strawy, um, very fine lines, but the decision is yours now. As you, it, your painting and the way um, you, you know, you've drawn it or formatted it will be different to mine. But if you can see with this brush, bloody clever that is. That's the reason you, I was just teasing it on a piece of paper just to get the any excess paint or flickability away from it I made that word up I beg your pardon <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating I put two pencil lines um, at the start where I thought the um, the grass where they're, they're the lines where the grass was forming. So I'm just going to stick with those and just go for it. I'll try and I'll speed up now. Otherwise, we'll be here till 
politics life starts. <laughs> 12, no, we're beyond that anyway. 12, 12 15. Um, Prime Minister's questions isn't till next week. I think they're back next week. Boris is off on holiday at the moment. Mm. So they're waiting for him to come back, I think. Whether that be an issue. Shows our different intellect. I think twelve fifteen bargain hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I say this. All I'm doing here is um, using raw sienna. I didn't hear that, Chris. I said our different intellects. Twelve fifteen means bargain hunt to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, then you get. Is it sometimes at least women? No, I don't watch that. that at all. No, not very often. I'll watch it for about five minutes and then they now think this is a load of garbage. <laughs> not because they're women, I'm just saying the whole <laughs> the whole bloody thing. And and the other thing that drives me to distraction is you only just switch it on. They just started the show, and the first thing they do is try and get you to join their competition which goes on for 20 minutes and the actual intellectual content of the program is zero yeah. <laughs> well should we say give them give them credence and say there's what 15 minutes in an hour of any sort of real content yeah. the only good bits is if is occasionally you get in there and they start squabbling. <laughs> Somebody, one says something and no, oh, I don't believe in that. No, I don't. I'm in that. And you think, oh, this is more like it. <laughs> um, yeah. So what I'm using here anyway <laughs> is just <laughs> um, what's it called? It raw sienna. And over the other side that I earlier I said, look, I've got a little bit of that green some blue there's a little it's all colors it's just it's not one color it's lemon yellow it's just stuff that's in the box from last week and the week before that it's quite handy to have flying around because if you just take some of the dark bits and just let them float <clears throat> to the base of our um raw sienna fronds gross grossy bits and then we can just flick them in as well we'll get a nice mixture of tonal values because by now some of the raw sienna is starting to dry or just go off so it can give well, my in my mind's eye it's giving the the grass a sort of two-dimensional look but with this brush it's so fine it's not um it's not filling in the it's adding to the grass effect rather than turning it into a into a base sort of blobby bit difficult this because it's still which I haven't mentioned the winter scene there because it's starting to have that sort of wintry feel but this can take take a while using that brush or get a river involved things might hurry along burnt umber and blue gives us a really nice dark shadowy tone that I can flick in just putting it into the base wiggling it around you can use the edge of your brush blow it flat and flick it up a bit bit being the optimum word there and the other thing to do is to clean the brush off in water just take the excess water off and then soften 
the base of the dark area down and just smooth it around. Just let it run. You want clean water. So even if you're, as you do it, you're picking up paint on the brush, just clean it off and you'll find you'll get a nice blended grassy soft, soft area. And the, oh, it's, is that looking sort of, you could do with more grass actually. <clears throat> some, some more, but it's a personal thing. So I mean, as you go, as you're doing it, you think, oh, I need a little bit there. I need, to... but I have no. I did notice yesterday when I was doing it that, um, or just looking at the reference image, that the grass blows to the right. So bear that in mind. That most of the f most of them are. There's obviously predominantly wind in that in that area. <clears throat> blowing it a particular way. I think the key key bit of this is just patience and fun. Well, think of it as unnecessary evil to the picture that you've just got to spend a bit of time flicking away. Bit like George, I keep mentioning George with his scratching. It's the same sort of feel to it. I'm just adding blue to the the green, the darky bit in here, just to add some dark bits into those grasses. And when you think it's all over. probably isn't because you can while it's damp there's no reason why if we can't later on when it's dry as well you can scratch out some extra highlights in it as well you have to wait till, till your papers you know till the whole thing's really nice and dry Seems to be forming all right. Um, what I will do a sec is just mix up a little bit more of that shadow tone. Well, I'm calling it shadow, burnt sienna and cerulean blue. Not necessary, not not in any particular order. Beauty of using just those two colours, if you look at it. If when you put it on your paper and you think, oh, that's a bit, bit one way or a bit the other, either too blue, too red, you, you can just add one, one or the other to it to bring it back. If it's too brown, add a little bit more blue and that'll make it go back to the, the, the cooler side of the shadow. Mm. What we can do is using clean water, which I thought I had on the brush, but it's turned into dirty water. Just make a, a small area and drop in some of that brown, some of that grey shadowy colour and have fun. As I say, it's time consuming, interesting, but you'll learn a lot about painting in the process because you've got to do it. You've got to add the shadows or the dark tone to the ends, to the bot base of the, the grasses. And it's a mixture of putting paint down. I'm reaching over into my pot constantly. And like my, my hand's going like this to, <laughs> you can hear it as I brush it in the thing. And I'll dab it on the, or just rub it on the edge of the pot so that I've just got enough clean water in to soften it down and spread it whichever way I want the, the, the shadow tones to go. And there's no, so I'll, I'll repeat it here, Look where the base of the grass is, 
put a line of colour. Carol's loving this. <laughs> I'm always telling her to do that. And then my hands <laughs> in the pot of water. Clean, so I've got, and then clean water underneath that line and just let it, you can, you can have great. Oh. <clears throat> it's not fun. It's, it's, it's satisfaction actually, because it's really, um, as far as watercolors go, it's probably the most fundamental in water. Dab on the edge of the brush, soften that down where I put the colour, and let it blend into the sand. I'm really, I'm really chuffed. This is, this has got a, a lot of potential. Particularly if you enjoy doing. Um, abstract sort of contemporary type painting because these sort of fronds of sand you could have like a, a whole picture whole painting that's just got um a beach going right the way across and a blue sky nothing else but right in the middle of it there is a little clump of these sands and it will and it just forms that sort of contemporary feel to it, doesn't it? That sort of nice <coughs> solitude, lonely area of the beach. You see them all the time for sale in galleries and that. But it's just a question of softening it down and we've got that and if you as it dries back you'll notice the the undulations you you it's a bit like waves on the on the water you can you'll you'll see some where it's dried different um different ways you'll see undulations on the background on the paper on the paint paper and if you just put you can do exactly the same thing i can't really say do it there do it there you need to do it there you just you just sort of look at it and think oh there's a that's what he's on about there's a little dark bit there a little darker area there and exactly the same thing just put a little blob of color Back it, clean water on your brush and just soften it down underneath and the way they go and you'll get those there's not you gotta keep doing it because every time you go underneath and soften it down and make it flow it picks up color on the brush which you then introduce back into it which you don't really want to do So that's the hope that, I mean, if there is a, an important homework um, for, the, for the week, this is it, this, this, this section that I'm talking about right now, this is where you should be. I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra dark there. And the beauty is where the, it doesn't be in watercolor. The paper's not drying straight away either. So where I've made it down, if I want to introduce some little extra dark shadows at the base, of the, then I can, and it will, and it will just sort of sit there and melt its way in. Very effective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't. I like that. I don't think there's, there isn't enough time to go through and do all of them because of you know it's a what's the word it's a personal feeling choice as you're doing it <laughs> you'll get bored as well there's all those sort of emotions coming that will come in but um 
and then you'll see a bit that thinks hang on i need a bit there i need a bit that, you know it all this will happen a lot yeah. but you can use the flesh tone to do this as well if you use uh, i'm using raw sienna because it it's it shows up really well all i've done there is just put a little line of paint and now i'm just using the rigor well the end of this sword brush but the rigor will do it as well if you've got a very thin rigor and just flick it up paint that's there you can, you can rub your brush off so that it's got nothing strenuous on it and just flick it flick the paint that's there at the bottom a bit strong that actually i didn't stronger than i wanted it i wanted it to be a just thinner um, more delicate because it's further away that value thing again it's further away in distance so you don't want it as strong as the ones up here so which will mean <laughs> that if i make these strong there then i'll have to make these even stronger so i've got to be careful with that because they'll they'll come forward and i don't want them to come forward so what we do is we get a bit of tissue and a back to the clean water. We just rip it off a bit. That was a bit too much, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they were gone. Yeah. But, but that stamped that area now. So regardless of what's what, I can just tease in some of that. That sort of shadowy colour, and off it goes. Gives us a bit of distance. But this, and we can spread it across here. But I think the having that that base background of um, the fleshy colour gives us a little bit of. Um, they're not very good those fronds there not my finest bits of grass there add some darks in to try and turn them up but you'll get the once you get the, the gist of what we're trying to do and it just makes me laugh the times that i paint painted beach scenes and thought oh that you know that, that it's my comfort zone then i've picked this one and as soon as i sat down to and realized what i'd done i'm thinking whoa hang on here <laughs> <laughs> this is not as straightforward as we think but what is straightforward is the well it's the execution there's just more of it um but the execution of the paint as well. The palette hasn't changed. The darks that I'm using um, are always the burnt umber and ultramarine gives me the dark colour. And then if you mix it up or it introduces it with raw sienna, any of the earth colours really, any of these others, and dilute it with just clean brush on water like I'm just about to do on there, it softens down and sp it spreads really well. Just wiggle the brush about a bit. But all, pe all, um, all your pictures will have a, what's the word? Nice passage and a not so nice one. So maybe what I've done there, I know it's, there's a little bit of a greeny color in that palette, but I'm just just putting that in the base of the plants as well. Just a hint of it here and there, especially where it meets down. There you go. Nice. Uh, a bit like, it is a bit like painting a winter scene. I think if you, um, 
uh, think of it in that terms. Well, perhaps later on we'll, we'll do a, another uh, winter on the marsh type painting. Um, and if you, at that moment, or when you were doing that one, if you reflect back to this, you'll think, yeah, I see what Dave means, that doing the, the snow is pretty much, it's, it's the same sort of workout as doing the sand. All I'm trying to do here is make some extra darker areas. Just to, it's a bit funny, isn't it? This, I just thought as in, last week it was Lawrence of Arabia in the sand, in the desert. This week I'm painting the bloody <laughs> desert. Oh, dear, dear. Yeah, we've gone from the sublime to the whatever. Right. Now, of course, I've got this horrible contention over here, which is the problem with using rose madder as or Alzerian crimson as a light, you know, a light ready colour, that it that it's the most highly highest staining color that you, you'll have in your palette so be warned <laughs> <laughs> and i'm stuck with that i won't be able to tease that out well, it's okay it adds a bit of warmth to my picture but like all things in life you know in moderation <laughs> uh, and that is a big swathe of it now but that's a good it's a good opportunity really to introduce perhaps a little bit more of a stronger grassy area at the front oh must admit quite enjoyed this this morning i was a bit apprehensive as usual i always am on a tuesday morning i think oh, God, what am i going to do oh it's going to be actually which it has on occasion but i usually rescue it but going back to what kareem was saying right at the start about frame pictures you know the early ones um going back to flicking through the ones that I just said went pear shaped on, or I wasn't very happy with. When I look back in the flick through the folder that I've kept them all in, some of them I'm looking at. That's all right. I don't. I don't look at it as think it's terrible. I'm just looking at it thinking, yeah, that's that's fine. What you want to look for, or what your spot is, um, areas where the grass is just poke coming straight out of the paper well it can't do that it has to grow into the into the soil not just evolve out of it so just add a few bits that's quite nice now it's got a nice sort of watercolor feel <coughs> this area here um perhaps put some get some burnt umber make a nice brownie dark Still ultramarine and burnt umber, but just sort of, I don't know, whatever they are, little sticks, little bits sticking up, aren't they? So this, it's going to take a while. <laughs> As you, it's just their little twiggy bits that are outliers of the, cool, that's, that's it posh word for me sounds almost realistic like I know what I'm talking about you can just put a few really darker ones and add a few bits here and there or not but those um, the undulations you could spend ages I tried doing it um using a, a tissue to blot, blot it out and things like that, but it didn't work. It just looks like it's 
blotted out. But this, this sword brush seems okay. You can just put some paint down, clean water on the thin rigger brush and soften it down underneath and it'll blend in. As I say, that is the fundamental thing to take from what we're, at, what we're trying to achieve here. I think, yeah, I've, I've, what I was trying to do earlier, right from the start, is give that the top, the top bits of the dune or the grass, uh, sand and sandy area, a feeling that, you know, it goes, there's more over here. If you've got a very fine rigger, you might want to put some, something on the tops of there. Should have done that at the start, really. There's a line there that I've got to sort out. Right? Just a flick with the rigger should do that. Um, need to put something, a little bit of that shadow. See that? We haven't used that many colours. I'm still using the same um, cerulean Very blue, good. burnt sienna shadow area that I started with right from the kickoff. Um, just going to add a little bit more greeny blue, whatever colour I've got, I've got left in the palette, really. A bit more blue I need, really. Just try and tidy up this. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bit too green. What colours are flipping the sea? That's the thing, isn't it? Changes with the light every couple of minutes. One minute it's blue, the next minute it's green. Let's grab a little bit more cerulean blue. Be brave, be bold. <laughs> and just leave it. Keep going, don't stop. Just try and soften that down. Yeah, look, there's some waves in the background there. I think when it dries, or I might lift that bit off. <coughs> really, most of it, it's been a sort of a cerulean burnt sienna day, really. And I've still got that horrible piece of. Um, Rose Madder over there, which will haunt me for the rest of the day. I bet you. I have got this brush. I can't remember where I got it from. It, it's um came from a pound shop, cheap packet of paints, uh, brushes hundred years ago. I don't think. You can see that how bad that will be there. That that's going to stain forever. Have to so. make it into red cells yacht. Sorry. <laughs> Have red cells. Have a little yacht. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just going to put a bit of white paint over it for now, okay. and that'll build it up. Just so that at the end of the picture, it looks like something. Mm. Mm. Really I've got another little, another yeah. little bit. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. <laughs> another little bit down there. <laughs> we got an early lunch. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, this, I think, at the moment, it's one of those paintings that, or one of the subjects that, um, it's up to you, you know, the, it's one of those, the world's your oyster type pictures. I'm just putting a little bit of white over some of those horrible areas. They won't, sh it won't show. Um, it's up to you what you do next. I'm going to put a couple of nudes in it, running across the sand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make, make your open stuff. We're not talking to doing that then. Yeah. It was you up there, was Mind it? The idea. Yeah. Yeah. Behind the behind the dunes with your camera. <laughs> <laughs> like it. 
<laughs> I do like that. It's not. This isn't the naturist area, anyway, is it? <laughs> well, well my mate Jonathan, you never know. Well, he's <laughs> one of those astronomer guys, so he could be. Now yeah, I reckon I've be. seen him up there in the bath. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it, it ain't finished until you, um, until you've had enough, really, because mm. the. You can carry on adding grasses grow, you know, blooming great clumps, don't they? So you can just carry on adding more. And what I find is, and I'll hand on art, is uh, sometimes I'll, that's why I keep, put, keep going, wiggling my brush in the in the paint and then I'll rub it on the side of the paper and, I'll, and all of a sudden I'll get a really nice run of um, paint com paint on brush flicking nice fine straight lines combination and at that moment, moment I just keep going well and the other thing is while we're on the subject of white. There's no, this is, you think it's all over. You can equally start flicking. Okay, see what I mean about getting the, the right combination of paint on brush? Mm. Um, it's, the, it's consistency of paint, water, and there's no reason why you can't add flicks of white on it. I'm only saying this because you can do it. It's, you need to know that you can do that. And equally, when it's dry, <coughs> the other alternative, and it, you, you will find it really good, is to just scratch. Scratch some white bits, some highlights in. Turn it upside down to do that. Just execute it that way. And the same with the water. We can just scratch a few. Few horses on the on the water as well. I'm just gonna see how bad that staining colour is. So I've put a couple of layers of white on there, and it's still coming through. Well, you remember those, you remember those um, children or the couple that we had running down to the beach? Yeah. On that one painting? Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Could have, that could have been a little beach ball going up in the sky. So you could put <laughs> That's that. That's what I said. <laughs> if you do decide to do that, then put it over this way. Yeah. <laughs> Try and don't put it over there. No. Or there needs to go there somewhere around there because mm -hmm. it's the you've got to be going somewhere it's the mm. golden section isn't it mm. if you divide your picture into nine squares mm -hmm. yeah so if you can put an imaginary line a third all the way down so you have to line that so you've got a nine squares mm. then where those lines interject is a golden section it's just a, a, a rule of thumb guide and if you drew a line there a third and a third it will be about there as far over that way as you can go really put the subject there and it won't look out of place it'll look really nice put it over there and it'll look you can put one there but you have to put the main one there so they would have to be um characters coming into the the movie, not the movie. The movie are there, central characters. Yeah. No. I think if you <laughs> if you do it that way, it'd be much better. And the same if you decide to put a seagull. <laughs> heaven forbid, I wouldn't dream of it. But if you do, it's got to be up there, either there <laughs> or there. But I'm left-handed, so I do. It will, it will come out different for me. What did I just do? Oh. 
I stuck some ready paint on my brush, on the rig. See what I mean? You can, I just want to add a little bit of extra. Too much raw sienna, uh, too much raw sienna. So need to vary it a bit. Um, some of the grasses I am put enough in really that, that there's more, more of a clump of stuff. So perhaps you can address that when you do yours. You know the base has a real. Um, what's the word? Raw sienna. Let me do it. Hang on. Yeah, where would I do that? Uh, somewhere there. If I put raw sienna down there. And then add some of the bluey, greeny, duller colours. Just drop it in. Gives it more of a clumpy feel. But again, cleaning my brush off. Clean water, still going to soften that bit down. And then as it dries, take a, a knife of some description. Just do a bit of scratching. Just scratch out the bits going down. Oh God, I'm really sensitive about this on this board because I've stretched the paper and it's on thin board and it, and it's like a <laughs> you see that moves about quite yeah. so if I scratch too hard I'll scratch straight through <laughs> and it's not looking too bad a picture so I'm a bit dubious of but yeah you can you can add a few extra bits turn your and then you get a clump with more um grass folded down into the sometimes somebody stepped on it or whatever you know. those are so just to recap that bit it's just a little bit of uh, what should we do it there a little bit of raw sienna while it's down add a little bit of the dark brainy bluey yuck stuff from the other car from the other side from the dark side of your palette Soften it down with a bit of clean water on the head, on the bottom of it, just a bit. and then get your knife and just scratch a few bits in. You might find you want to leave it to dry just a little bit so that scratches better. Ooh, lifted off the paper's a bit damp there. <laughs> <laughs> Do it when it's bone dry as well. You can just go through with a sharp knife and just scratch a few bits off send your George he's out there looking down at me now yeah <laughs> and, uh, not too bad I suppose yeah. Yeah, no, mm. what's that look like looks all right to me yeah, yeah. Really good very nice I've just, mm. I've just tracked it from the sky a little bit Simple, but, but effective when yeah, it's dry it's nice. What's it like? I've got a main here, am I? Sometimes. Yeah. I'll tell you a story about that. I was looking at my picture of Diana doors last night. Mm -hmm. And I and I and I I thought, that's funny. She's got like a white coat shoulder thing on. And I thought I can't remember sticking a, mm. a a dark patch on that part of the painting. <laughs> And I looked again, I thought, that's a bloody fly. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, look, that's one of the reasons I wear this flat cap. <laughs> one quick flick mm. and it's sorted. Yeah. <coughs> I hadn't. Mm. Uh, well, I wouldn't normally, I, I wouldn't be so harsh as that, but because it was on my picture of Diana, Diana Doors, that was it. I'm not having that. That mm. was like, <laughs> thank you. Sanctiment to you know you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Uh which way down? Which way up? That way up? Yeah. Uh, let's take this block of wood out of the way. 
I can push it up like that. Very nice. Yeah. I haven't put the boat in or the liner, but as I say, those are, it's really damp over there and some of this is soaking wet. I think that's a decision you can make and put your own interpretation. My instant, my, my thing is I've got that um, morning Fred picture with the old boy pushing his bike. And to me, that's what I put there. But then again, I, I wanted to put that in Lorna Dune as well. And I still might do it yet. So <laughs> but that's, I just like that, like the, um, the thought of, you know, you're out pottering around and you meet this guy walking across the beach, pushing his bike, a bit like an old onion seller with a flat cap, like, you know, and you, sort of, you look at him and say, I'm morning, Fred, why are you, you know? Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. things like that. It's, it's sure the real in the. You ought to put him in every picture. That would be yeah. your signature mark, like yeah. the mouse. Like the mouse. <laughs> yeah, the, well, there's the other guy, isn't there? I can't remember his name now. That he used to paint himself painting a, in the picture. On an, in an, he used to put sat him sat down on an in a chair facing an easel painting. It was so so clever. Yeah. Uh, I'll dig it out and show you one day. Like this sort of signature mark, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I think, well, uh, just paint the picture. But, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm content with that. I'm not going to... Mm. Like you can um, flick away. The sky could be better on one thing or another. But it will be, because I can lift that out. It's only that bit there that I want, that I just want to subtle lift it out. When it's bone dry, I can just use my... Um, a clean water and a soft brush, make it damp, clean tissue, and lift it off a bit, mm. and it'll be fine. Mm. Maybe, but I've yeah. I've captured that, and even that little red bit's not looking so terrible now. No, almost looks like there might be something going on. I might introduce a little bit if I put a little bit of um, what's it called? A little bit of that grey colour on there. It might even add to the add to the drama, mm. you know, something something going on over that over that side, a bit like that. So, in a way, that it's what we all know. As you paint a picture, it's you have an idea at the outset, and then things go all over, you know, pear shaped and what have you. As you're doing it, you blob goes here, flick goes, and you've got to adjust, you've got to fix it. Yeah. What's like the classic, isn't it? If, if yeah. you see a seagull in me picture, you know there's a cock on it because yeah. <laughs> it's hiding something. Well, this is doing it at the same time. So it can't, um, can't quite see. Oh, it. sorry. It's I'm going to swap over. Hang on. Yeah, oh, right. sorry. Yeah, my, my light is terrible. Um, I need to change that, but there you go. I don't know whether you can see that, but the sand is okay. I quite like the sand. The, the rest can yeah. be, you know, changed. But yeah, I have to what say um, to, oh, sorry. To, yeah. um, the, the, the thing is I used a bit of um, white gouache for the um, foam on the sea um, mm -hmm. and uh, also to lighten up. Sand in places. Well done. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I pinned oh. you. You could hold it up, man. Right, I'm back yeah. again. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, was good. That I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. that was nice. That was really nice. Yeah. I'm not. Well, I kind of. I do like painting seascapes and. I don't, that isn't one that I'm not going to, that's what, two, possibly three in a row that I'm not going to wash off in the bath later. <laughs> 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 that I oh. Think. Um, oh, before everyone disappears, yep. um, well, just for a giggle, this, not a giggle, this is serious. This, and when I zoom it in, this is this year's Christmas card, oh. Christmas challenge. 
where is it? Sorry. This is this year's Christmas challenge. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is the um oh, the subject gosh. for next week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh. But I mean if 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 you want to, you could focus on the candle. I thought I thought that'd be a brilliant Christmas card. <laughs> it's oh. ideal for me because oh. I don't send them, so I can be a real Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep it. <laughs> oh dear. So that's. That's the only reference image I've got at the moment. I like that. that. One. You haven't got a coloured one. I just yeah. love it. I don't really. I don't think yeah. it was a black and white movie, wasn't it? it every, yeah. The world was black and black and white back in. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. 52, 48, or whenever that was made. So from that point of view. <laughs> so be warned. No, I think we could add a bit. That would be amusing. <laughs> I'm so pleased I'll be sitting next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. I'll sell you the cards. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah, very good. Yeah. We'll put our initials on it, make out we've yeah. done it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know whether I got the patience to sit and do that. I tried the Lawrence of Arabia and I thought, oh, I'll try acrylics. And I got in such a mess with it. And I thought, oh, I just wasn't in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps, perhaps um, if someone thinks up a, if someone sees a, a Christmassy image that they want to do, bloody email it to me. Right. <laughs> and, um, Oh, no. I had a lovely one, just a head of a, a, a young um, deer. That was nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have got one. That's nice. I've got yeah. one in the pipeline. Hang on. Um, there you go. There you go. <laughs> no, that might be suitable. Hang on. And it's, and, hey, it's getting back to George. Oh. This is it. You'll love it. We could turn this. Oh, Joyce, Joyce, if you're watching. Hang on, oh, she's gone. She's gone. Got, yeah, I know. I've got to find the chair, but she'll watch the video. Right. There he is. Ta -da! Oh. oh, squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> That's a bit different. <laughs> oh. oh. It's ah, lovely, so though. All Absolutely we've got, lovely. All we've got to do is um, make the branch and some of the background a little bit whiter. And we've got a uh, Christmas. A squirrel on a That's Christmas lovely. Yeah. Nice. Yes. So that's sweet. We're going to do that one. I've got that one. We'll do that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll put that one up for the next one after Nora Batty. Okay. Brilliant. Right. I love that. That'll be just right for Christmas then. It will yeah, be. It's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> Especially you um, do, if you've got a printer, it's sort of take a photo and Print them on, and you can just glue them on mm. a piece of card. I mean, I'm lucky I've got cards that I can print on, but I thought if I thought I saw that picture came up, I think it's World Wildlife Doodah or something, one of their pictures. And I thought, cool, if if George was still with us and he saw that, he'd be straight, he'd be yeah. straight on that one. <laughs> so, anything like that. Yeah. But, be nice. good to change it into a winter scene because then there aren't copyright issues and things like that. If people see it, uh, yeah, maybe not not so much. But if I go out trying to flog pictures, I'm always conscious that you know where right. I got the subject from. And right. yeah, yeah, like uh, you see them. The classic one is you see it on Facebook Marketplace and that kids or people trying to sell pictures of Disney characters and um, you know film cartoony type things you ain't you can't do that it's not allowed you yeah. cannot oh. sell donald duck or whoever the latest <laughs> you know fireman sat any of it they're, they're all copyright and oh. very often yeah. see them on facebook 
they come up my feed occasionally and I usually put a comment saying you do realize you cannot sell this mm. <laughs> and they do troll the internet for images of their characters as well most mm. artists that do it do it very quietly <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. they'll do um a picture of scooby-doo or um tom and jerry for a friend yeah who donates yeah. 600 quid for the privilege mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah which is okay until that friend gets bored or moves on and then he starts selling that <laughs> and then all of a sudden in the public domain we've got a fraudulent you know mm. a naughty image Mm. They're ever yeah. so protective. Um, people like Disney and all those guys. I bet. I bet. Well, they can the same, same as music. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Anyway, I've enjoyed this morning. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you yeah, very much again. Yeah, it's lovely. I think I'm thank going you. to go and uh, prepare lunch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm decided mm -hmm. what to have. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Probably a pot of Shippum's crab paste. Oh my goodness, that's a <laughs> blast from the past. Yeah, crikey. <laughs> well, I, do they still well, sell it? Do I they? was going to say that. <laughs> well, it's not so. I do buy um, proper dressed crab from the. They do it at a Cardo and places like that. Right. Okay. Oh. Which is really, you know, it's five pounds for a a pot which mm -hmm. lasts me two days I quite it's real crap oh, but right. to be quite frank with you the shipham's paste crab paste tastes just as nice it doesn't <laughs> right. have the same texture <laughs> but it has to have by <laughs> all, something like 75 percent or 68 percent crab and real meat in it oh well that's good right. that's very yeah. good so we'll all we'll be looking for that next week. Yeah, we'll all have yeah. some crab and cucumber <laughs> sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah. well fingers done. crossed next year, <laughs> when I keep saying to Stephen at Easter, we'll run the club on, on a Saturday in the church or, in a, you know, mm. but not we're not stopping the Zoom, but that's more of a drop in coming. Yeah, that'd be yeah. nice. Maybe I'll do that. We'll do <laughs> Shivam's crab sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Instead of making a cake, I'll do a crab sandwich. Oh, I think the cake's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Miss oh, them. yeah. We miss that we'll have, cake. We'll have don't some we? flapjacks or yeah. chocolate <laughs> cake. Oh. Run out. Mm -hmm. Run out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, right. thank you very much indeed, and uh, I probably will see you in two weeks' time then. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. 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 Bye.